you. So I said, I'm uh, an economic analyst in the economics and strategic analysis team at a NHS England and NHS Improvement. And I'll be talking about some of the work the team did when looking at the drivers of crowding in type one EDs or A&Es. Uh, we refer to them as EDs in this analysis. Just some background about the team. So we work in the office of the uh, Chief Data and Analytics Officer in the CDAO, and our purpose is to support the NHS uh, to deliver better health and care for uh, to citizens and patients through the uh, through the use of data and by providing robust uh, and impactful evidence-based analysis. So the team uh, uh, who were on the project with me uh, were Stephen Paling, Svetlana Batrakova, Dimitris Papinis and Rania Alakra and myself. Um, so basically um, this is our motivation. So the project originally initiated due to the uh, uh, availability of more timely data through faster sus uh, and also the shift led by the clinical review of standards which proposed a new uh, a move away from staying times to crowding. We've therefore come up with uh, 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 three crowding metrics in our analysis. Uh, and our, uh, the benefit of our econometric approach is that it allows, to, allows us to isolate the extent to which individual factors uh, drive crowding. And we've also taken here a whole system approach. So looking at uh, factors pre-hospital, within the ED, rest of hospital, and then at the wider healthcare capacity. So quick overview on some previous work that the team done, has done. Uh, so the, the team has worked on various projects looking at A&E waiting times, both at the national level and also within uh, individual trust. So the team has quite a bit of experience in this area. So we have proposed uh, uh, three different metrics here. Um, and we also run our models for basically the three acuity. So we split patients by majors, minors and resource. We've also split the day into six slots, six four hour slots. Uh, this is due to some previous evidence showing there's uh, uh, different effects throughout the day. Uh, so our three crowding metrics are overall crowding, six hour plus days, and these two are calculated for all three acuities. And then we have cubicle crowding, which is only derived from majors and resource patients. Our overall crowding metric counts the number of patients present in each time in each time slot for a given acuity, that's irrespective of whether they were discharged later or arrived in an earlier one, as long as they're within the ED, they are counted within that slot. Uh, our next metric is the six hour plus stays. So this is counts the number of patients who are staying uh, more than or six hours at the ED. And this is basically just a subset of the overall crowding metric. Finally, we calculate uh, uh, derived cubicle crowding. Um, which is uh, basically the number of majors and resource patients per cubicle. And in our analysis here, we've used ECDS data uh, covering uh, March to October. So this uh, shows uh, uh, basically our econom um, econometric model. And again, here using this model allows us to show the effect of each individual variable once we keep uh, the values of the other ones fixed. Uh, so you can see here uh, our different uh, types uh, or different variables that we include, which include, uh, for example, bed occupancy. Uh, we proxy for the uh, ma uh, medical assessment unit, uh, as well as some other patient controls and discharge rates. So what we've used here is a, uh, in our model is a fixed effects panel regression model, and uh, that has the additional benefit that it enables us to account for uh, time invariant unobserved factors, which we can't measure, uh, for example, individual site or trust policies or geographical differences, for example. There were some variables that we would have quite liked to include, such as workforce and such. However, the data quality at the national level was not uh, sufficiently good enough. We uh, developed our code base in R and we have bundled it as a package on the, which is uh, uh, available now on the uh, NHS England uh, GitHub account. So whilst we have developed it with uh, data sources available to us at NHS e &I, uh, including SOS data and uh, uh, SITREPS, uh, we've kind of built it in a database agnostic manner, which uh, we hope will enable users across the system uh, to utilize this on their own data, whether that be at trust or CCG level or in ICSs, uh, provided that the relevant data points are available. We've within that code included 
uh, basic data cleaning processes and customizable data transformations for our ED dependencies and admitted patients. And we've hopefully built it in, in quite a user friendly way uh, so that non proficient R users within the system can take it on. We've also made this really flexible. So whilst we have split, we run uh, six models, six models for the four hour time slots. You can easily change it throughout the day to customize however long uh, or however many slots you'd like at your uh, to investigate at your system. We've also uh, again, whilst we use six hour plus uh, stays, uh, there's a flexibility in that you can choose any uh, amount of time. For example, uh, uh, 12 hours to align with the clinical review of standards might be desirable to look at. Um, all of our code base handles the uh, aggregation from the patient level data up until the uh, panel data structure that we have. So that we, in our analysis, use a daily panel structured data for all uh, sites uh, in uh, type 1 EDs in England. Our code is open source, it's under MIT license. And again, as I've mentioned, it hopefully uh, our aim was to enable other teams at NHSE and, and across the wider system to run our model, but also not only run it, but also build upon it using uh, their own data sources or maybe uh, uh, data points that are relevant to them uh, or that they have better data for. Uh, just on the packages that we've used, so uh, we've based it on uh, data.tables. Uh, so if you haven't used them and you're an R user, uh, they are really quick, really efficient and very highly recommended. Uh, we've also used fixed disk, uh, which uh, basically allows us to estimate our fixed effects models. Uh, R6, uh, which is basically our, uh, an implementation of object oriented programming uh, for R. And we uh, have the ability to have some plots as well, uh, although some of them uh, are not fully developed yet. Uh, if you want to get started with, the, with our code, uh, uh, we've got a readme on GitHub, uh, which will give you a basic introduction how, and we'll be shortly uh, uploading an example script based upon the stuff that we've done for our work. Uh, we've also are presenting at tomorrow's Anal Analyst X mini huddle in the afternoon. So uh, uh, this is, a, I guess, a sell to uh, come to that if you're interested. Well, uh, we'll uh, dig a bit deeper or dive a bit deeper into the code that we've de developed and getting started with it. Um, yep, yeah, if there's any questions. Yeah, um, thanks, Edmund. Great, really great uh, chat uh, talk. Um, I've got there in there's a few questions in chat. Um, I've got my own question. So you have only talked about type one emergency departments and kind of this work. Uh, could this same analysis be applied for type two and type three? And would there any be would there be barriers to using the same process and the same kind of work you've done for those emergency departments? Thank you. Yeah, so you could easily adapt it to type uh, two. You can adapt it to any uh, site, uh, any type you would want, uh, provided that the data structure is the same, which if you're using SUS, it will be the same. Uh, so in terms of that, is there's no barriers. Uh, I guess the only barriers would be uh, potentially for type threes. Uh, the data quality isn't necessarily as good uh, as what I've heard from colleagues. Great, thank you. Um, and then the second question we have is from Mark Bailey, who asks, so um, have you had any benefits realizations? Has this been used in real life? Uh, so we've only actually, we published it about a week, ago, a month ago. Uh, so we haven't actually um, really advertised it big, massively. So this is kind of our first uh, proper advertisement of the uh, uh, stuff that we've built. Um, but in terms of time costs, it's, we haven't spent that much time additionally building it as a package. Rather, we uh, developed it as a package concurrently as to doing the analysis as well. Uh, 